Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, finally. Uh, the last videos you saw from me were my New York vlogs, which is exactly where I'm going to pick up. Today we are going to be doing my New York haul, even though it's like over a month later, <laughs> life happens. Uh, after I got back, I went straight into birthday party planning for my grandfather, he turned 80 this year. And then when we got back, we all got sick. And then as soon as I started feeling a bit better, then I got my wisdom teeth out, so. <laughs> If my voice sounds a little bit different, that's why. I'm still kind of adjusting to having three holes in my mouth. Um, so yeah, basically I have a bunch of clothing to show you and a few like little souvenir-y things and a couple of beauty items as well. So if you'd like to see what I got in New York City in September, then keep watching. Okay, so I moved you back a little bit just so I can show the clothing a bit better. I will insert uh, close-ups where applicable and of course everything that I can link in the description will be linked in the description. So I'm gonna start with clothing first in I'm not going to categorize it by store. I just kind of have some things on hangers, some things not on hangers. First item I'm going to show here, technically my mom purchased this, but it is mine. Um, this is a I Heart New York hoodie, which I did not plan on picking up. I originally wanted another backup shirt, but I decided against that after because I found other shirts that I wanted. But <laughs> on our first full day, if you watch the first vlog, in the thumbnail you can actually see me wearing this hoodie under the poncho because it started to rain and it was getting cold and a bit windy and we were going out on a boat tour. Hi. It's Number rainy, day. it's foggy, it's basically home right now. Good planning, Liz, good planning. But <laughs> nonetheless, we did it, it was hilarious. <laughs> uh, but we needed some hoodies because we were cold. So we both got New York hoodies <laughs> and poncho and our ponchos that we brought. Uh, and yeah, so you'll see me w wearing that in that vlog if you haven't seen it already But yeah, it's basically just a heathered kind of cranberry pink I heart New York hoodie. It's very soft. It's very good quality actually. It was around $40 US I think next I want to start with stuff here on hangers I figured I left these on hangers because I figured they'd be easier to show so the first thing I have here is a collared uh, kind of wide check print uh, shirt. This reminds me of the red plaid one that I've worn in a lot of videos in the past, particularly last fall and the year before that. I still have the shirt. So when I saw this, it was the same material. I was like, oh, I'll probably like that. And sure enough, I tried it on. It wasn't on sale. It was regular price. This is from Abercrombie & Fitch. And I got it in an extra large because I like to wear these shirts a bit baggier where they're not stretchy. This one um, also has the same detailing on the sleeves. When you roll it up, there's a little strap there that buttons it in place, if that makes sense. I'll try and show that in the close-up as best I can. But yeah, I've worn this a couple times already. It's really comfortable and nice and simple and easy to layer with different things. So I thought that would be good for fall and winter. Next on hangers here, I have both my new cardigans. I one of the things that I knew I wanted to shop for in New York was new cardigans because my old navy blue and black cardigans that I wore all last winter for work, they're starting to wear out. They're starting to look kind of ratty. So I wanted to try and find some new ones. So I was successful. The first one I found, my black one, was at Loft. This is an extra large. This is what it looks like. As you can see, it is a little bit sheer, um, but when I wear it, it doesn't look that sheer on me. So I like that. It's the perfect length. It just has the straight, uh, well not completely straight, there's a bit of an angle there. Solid black buttons going down the front there. I believe these were around 60 or 70. Loft isn't the most affordable place in the world, but I discovered upon trying a few things on there that it fits my body really well and it feels like really good quality. So I definitely think I wanna purchase more from Loft in the future, but I think I got 30% off my purchase that day. Yeah, 30% off regular priced items the day we were in that store. Um, if you're curious, if you're going to New York soon, uh, it's the loft location that's right across from the Magnolia Bakery, the one in Sex and the City. So it's kind of just like a block from Fifth Avenue and Rockefeller Plaza area. And then the other cardigan I picked up, oh, the sleeve is inside out, oops. Um, this one is from a really popular Japanese store. It's, I think it's called Unique Club. Kind of sheer, but not terribly. This one's a little bit thicker. I think this, this one was around 60 US. Um, again, buttons down the sides. They aren't blue. They're kind of like a marbled um, silver and black button. But yeah, basically the same shape, same size. I think, nope, this is a large. This one fits a little bit baggier. It's a bit bigger make of a cardigan. I wanted to buy all 13 colors, but I was like, no, calm down, let's just buy one. 
I found one shirt at, well technically I found two, but I ended up giving the other one to my mom because it looked better on her. <laughs> the shirt that I kept from Zara is just this um, white lace t-shirt and the front here is actually a bit sheer, it's kind of meshed in, so it's still very, I guess, conservative you could say. It's, it's has good coverage, but it still like gives you a bit of that illusion of lace. So I thought that was really cute. That was around $24, I believe. I haven't worn it yet, because every time I've put it on, it just hasn't like looked right with the outfit, but I will wear it. I will wear it, I'm determined, because I do really like it. The other thing that I got at Loft is this dress shirt. Now, I was on their website last night looking around, actually. I don't think they have this shirt in this color anymore, but there is one there in a different pattern. It's like a brighter, more loud pattern. Um, so I'll link that one so you can s at least see the name of the shirt. Um, but this one has kind of a puffy capped sleeve and buttons down the back. It's just like a nice dressy blouse. I wore this for an interview recently, actually. And I felt really confident in it. On camera, it's showing up a bit more raspberry pink as I look in the viewfinder, but in real life, it's more of a dusty rose pink. It's like a dark dusty rose, which I really, really like. And it's very in this year, so yeah, this fits really well. What size did I get this in? Extra large, again. For non-stretchy stuff, I tend to size up. Okay, also from Loft, I think this was the only, yeah, because I got three items, yeah. So this is the other item that I picked up at Loft. I think these are around $25 or $24 regular price. It's just a V-neck lace cami. This does come in other colors. I think right now you can get it in black on their website, but this is just a heathered gray with a cream or ivory colored lace. Uh, fits really well. It's not too revealing, but it still has like a little bit of a, a cleavage moment, you know? I wore this recently to Dildo. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw a picture of me at Dildo Brewery. We were there on a day in October and it was like summer. It was amazing. Um, so that's when I wore that one, if you want to see what it looks like on. At H&M, I only picked up one item. I could not believe it. I went through three different floors of H&M on Fifth Avenue and only found one item. And it's a basic white v-neck t-shirt. So this is just from the H&M Basics collection, same as the shirt I'm wearing actually. I purchased this one when I went two years ago, like when I started my Vlogmas. Um, I don't remember if I actually tried this on in the vlog, but I did buy it on that trip to New York. <laughs> but, but that H&M was down by Macy's. This one is from the H&M that's currently on Fifth Avenue. If you go up in the other direction a little bit, the direction opposite of Central Park. Got a t-shirt, it was like $5. Awesome. I did pick up a few more white t-shirts because I love white t-shirts. So the next t-shirt I want to show you is also a white t-shirt. This one is cool because it's like a touristy t-shirt, but it's less touristy. Like it's not like the typical unisex t-shirt. So this one is from Levi's. On the front it says New York with an apple as the O. So I thought that was a really cute detail. On the back it's got a bunch of different not neighborhoods, but different areas of New York City. So the back says Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Staten Island, and Queens. So kind of the bigger areas in New York City. So yeah, that one I've worn a bunch of times already. It's super soft, super comfortable. I think it was around $30, $35 US. The next shirt is a more unisex style shirt. I got this at the same store as my navy blue cardigan, Uniqlo. That one was on Fifth Avenue, by the way. Um, so this one's just a unisex PJ t-shirt. The images on it are actually from an anime that I discovered from my boyfriend. <laughs> the anime is called Seven Deadly Sins, and basically it has this pig that's like really like erratic, I guess you could say, and when the pig reacts to something, it basically screams. <laughs> I just find it really funny. This one has the pig, Hawk, on the front here, on the left side. <laughs> Hawk's mom has a restaurant on top of her, and it's like a giant pig that's like green and covered in moss. Anyway, <laughs> it's a really comfy t-shirt, so I wear that one to bed. <laughs> and last but not least, two more t-shirts. These are my more touristy t-shirts. So the first one I got is the Come From Away t-shirt. Had to get it this time. Couldn't really figure out last time where to get the souvenirs, but this time I was like determined. I was like, we need to find it. Me and mom uh, both got these. I think she gave hers to her dad, my grandfather, but anyway, yeah, has a picture, the picture pointing to Gander um, on the world map on the back, like you are here, <laughs> and the Come From Away logo is on the front. 
super comfortable, just a unisex t-shirt. And then the other one I picked up is actually kind of more of a Brooklyn Nine-Nine reference. This is the one I decided on instead of getting another I Heart New York t-shirt. So if you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you know, the, the officers, the detectives, they actually wear the NYPD t-shirts um, sometimes underneath their uniform or as their uniform that day and it has like the NYPD crest. I couldn't find one that had it printed with ink just up in the corner so I got the closest thing. Amy Santiago, she actually does wear one a lot like this in one of the episodes so it's pretty similar. <laughs> so it says NYPD, then the crest, New York City Police Department. So yeah, that's it for clothing. Now is, I guess it's a good segue into kind of the more foresty stuff that I got. Um, so I'm gonna start with these magnets here from the 9-11 Memorial Museum. I picked up a bookmark last time if you remember that haul. Actually, it'd probably be good for me to just link it down below so that'll be in the description in my last New York haul. But I bought a bookmark with one of the rescue dogs on it, Sirius. So I got this set of magnets, two of the other dogs as well. Um, that were known to help in the efforts of recovery post 9-11. I believe all the proceeds or a portion of the proceeds from this like collection of products actually goes to the American SPCA. So I really like that. Got a set of three magnets, been using them. They're awesome, they're good magneticness. I got myself a little a Statue of Liberty figurine. Um, I figured it would go good on my TV stand there with my little Leaning Tower of Pisa because they're about the same size so I figured I'd get a little Statue of Liberty because I love New York so much. The other touristy things I guess I'll show next would be my Disney store items. I did pick up a few things in the Disney store this time. Well technically the biggest item here my mom technically paid for but for those of you who know me in real life a lot of people call me Dory because I don't have the best memory when it comes to certain things. <laughs> so I'm called Dory a lot so I had to get a Dory. <laughs> I wanted to get a smaller one, but this is the smallest Dory I could find, so it's from the Finding Dory uh, actually movie because she's wearing the tag. And uh, I also found this and I had to get it, it was so cute! Um, if you guys have seen the movie Up, the Disney Pixar movie with the balloons and the house and the old guy, um, <laughs> they find this dog named Doug and he's just so cute, I love him. Uh, so I had to get the little baby, baby Doug basically. So there's this whole collection of Disney characters that look like this. They kind of have the big stumpy feet and they're small and they're made kind of for younger children. <laughs> but I'm basically a child when it comes to these things so I had to get a baby Doug. And then this time I got my chip mug. I showed this in the vlog in like my first vlogmas vlog I'm pretty sure. Oh I want this mug so bad! Saying I really want this mug and I never got it so this time I had to go back and get it. And thankfully it got back in one piece. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, moving right along, we're gonna get into the beauty items here. I only picked up three items from Sephora, but I decided I wanted to try, because they actually have it there in person, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I did pick up this and the separate pump that you can purchase, because it does come with just a gold cap pump, uh, gold cap basically, there's no pump to it or anything. So I did purchase the pump separately. Um, that's available there next to the foundation. I bought the shade 1 and 0 porcelain. When I swatched this and let it sit on my hand a bit and kind of oxidize, it looked the most similar to my shade of YSL foundation, which I'm wearing right now, B10. I'm sad to report that I don't really like this as much. I definitely prefer my YSL foundation. The coverage is okay, like it sets into your skin well. It was a little bit harder to blend out. I just find that this foundation doesn't sit as well on my face as my YSL, which is my current favorite, the YSL All Hours Foundation. I find it's a bit harder to apply. I knew that anyway because it was a full coverage foundation. It's definitely not a bad foundation, but I don't like it as much. So I've only reached for it a couple of times. Just kind of disappointed by it to be honest. I, I had high expectations for it because it's just been one of those like ride or die foundations for people and makeup gurus for years. Everyone has all talked about it at least once I feel like so when I tried it I was just kind of disappointed by it. Um, and the other item that I got from Sephora is actually finding it really hard to find here in Canada but I did find it in stock at the American Sephora so I was like Perfect. Uh, so I got a sample a couple of months ago of a perfume that I fell in love with. It's from Giorgio Armani. It's called the Aqua di Gioia. They also have an air one and an earth one or something like that. They're like different elements. Um, but this is the Aqua one. I really like it. Super fresh. 
I find it just mixes well with my body scent. I really like the way it smells on me. So I found a $30 roller ball because I didn't want to commit to the full size bottle of it yet. I wanted to make sure that I really, really liked it. So it's just like a perfect, fresh, clean smell, not too overpowering. One or two spritzes is enough. A little bit goes a long way. So I really like that roller ball. Okay, so moving on to Walgreens. This is the last place that I picked up items on the last day. I dragged my mom into Walgreens because I wanted to just have a look at some of the different products that we can't get in Canada. So, or at least not in Newfoundland. So I picked up a couple things. I got a set from Soap and Glory that I'll show you in a second. Um, but first I wanna talk about this. So this is from Neutrogena. I haven't tried any Neutrogena makeup products yet. And this is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Complexion Perfector in Fair 10. Provides sheer coverage while clearing breakouts and it has salicylic acid in it. So basically this is an acne fighting version of those blurring primers, I guess you could say, or a acne fighting version of like a light tinted moisturizer with a bit of blurring effect. I wanted to try this because I've swatched it on my hand and it does have a bit more color to it than the Kiehl's Micro Blur, which is my favorite blurring primer product. Um, but I still really like it, surprisingly. So I'm glad I picked that up. It does have like a nice everyday base layer for your foundation. I'll layer that over my primer and then put my foundation on top. And then the Soap and Glory set that I picked up is called Soper Heroes. Funny, I know. <laughs> uh, I did find it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below, of course. Um, but it comes with one full size and three mini size products. So the full size product you get is the Soap and Glory Original Pink Body Spray. So this has the original Soap and Glory fragrance, which I do love. It's perfect just to throw on when I go out running errands or something. The body wash, which I also really, really like. I'd like to get a full size of this probably next summer or fall. The Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. This stuff is really nice. I have another mini uh, bottle of this from another gift set that I used on a couple trips and I really like it. Um, it also came with a mini hand food, my favorite hand cream at the moment, the Soap and Glory Flake Away, which is a body scrub. I did try this once already, very nice, very much do like that. And it also comes with the Righteous Butter. <laughs> I do have an another mini of this already that I'm working on. So I haven't opened this quite yet, but again, I just love the Soap and Glory original scent. And after Walgreens, guys, I actually have two more items to share with you. These are jewelry. So these are kind of like the bigger things that I've treated myself to in New York. Um, so the first item I picked up is actually a cuff bracelet. I don't have a lot of like, I don't have a lot of super nice gold jewelry. Most of my finer jewelry is silver. Um, so I found this at J. Crew, 30% off. So it was around $40 taxes in US. And it has rhinestones around it, has a clasp, and I usually just wear it on my left hand with a couple other gold bracelets. Uh, you would have seen a close up of this already in my New York vlog because I wore it to come from away. And the other item I wanted to show you is my new watch. This is what I got at Michael Kors. This was my big purchase. This was around 150 US before taxes. So it's the brown leather strap with the gold detailing white face. I have been eyeing this style watch for about two years now since I started getting trendy again. And I was debating, you know, like, should I just get a cheaper one? But I saw this one there and was like, bye. I ended up buying it <laughs> and I don't regret it. I actually really like it. It's very comfortable. And of course the, the metal isn't like turning my skin colors or anything. So yeah, I really, really like it. I've worn it a lot. So that is everything that I picked up in New York guys. I hope you liked this video, this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you're excited about Vlogmas, which is definitely happening again this year. I don't know how much exciting content we're gonna get, obviously, but <laughs> my life's not that crazy. Um, and I am starting a new job mid-November, so hopefully I will be able to get some exciting content for you guys for Vlogmas, but I will let you know 
that it's happening. The intro filming is happening very soon, uh, so stick around for that. And I'm also going to film an empties video right now, so stay tuned for an empties video. And I'm also planning a fall favorites video. So if you are not subscribed yet, definitely hit that button down below so you don't miss that. And I'll be back soon, guys, with another video. Bye.